Software giant Microsoft irked the gaming community by disclosing restrictions associated with how game discs for its forthcoming Xbox One console will be resold, lent, or shared with friends. Microsoft also said the Xbox One, which is being released in November, would be required to connect to the internet at least once per day. Rambus Incorporated said South Korea's SK Hynix Incorporated has agreed to pay $240 million in order to settle a patent dispute over memory chip technology that has dragged on since 2000. Among the many big product announcements Apple made in the recent WWDC, analysts say they can find yet another, and while not hardware or software, it was equally important, a manifesto. Presented in two videos that bookended the keynote address, it was at once a mission statement for the post-Steve Jobs era and a pay-in to the Apple co-founder's vision for the company. HP's CEO Meg Whitman says that 2013 is the fix and rebuild year, during which the broken bits of HP would be remade that they can begin to deliver growth in 2014. Apple's long product silence ended at the company's annual Worldwide Developers Conference keynote with the debut of a number of new products, among them iOS 7, the latest iteration of the mobile operating on which the iPhone and iPad run.